good evening and welcome to the Bosch vs. Sachs under 16A boys game. Both teams looking very prepared for tonight. Uh, both sides have a number of provincial players. Sachs boasting 12 players in the provincial squad of the A and B side. Bosch having four. Bosch captained by Luca Miller. Sacks have a very strong side, destroying, destroying team. <laughs> yeah, definitely the favourites for this evening, but we're good to see if Ronda Bosch can maybe upset them. Great evening for Samaki. Sacks with a white strip, Ronda Bosch with a traditional blue, yellow and blue. <laughs> Few nerves for the boys. Always, always good to see. Bosch to kick off. All the way back to the centre back. Route one ball. Bit of a wayward pass there from Ronda Bosch. Sacks on attack now, it will be interesting to see what they can produce. Sacks pressing very high early on, getting some pressure onto the Ronda Bosch back four. Got to get it in the right spot. Captain Uzea Pile on the ball. Plays by to one of his teammates. Around the back for Sacks. Ronda Bosch sitting back a bit deeper. Ronda Bosch coach controlling the press. Sacks seem to be patient with the ball. Oh, they're going forward now. As I say that, Sacks pass it back. Showing off their patience. Trying to build up players or Sacks. Going down the right, a bit of an overload, 2v1 situation. Not far from the Ronda Bosch boy, and it's a short corner to Sacks. Sacks will be looking to put pressure on the Ronda Bosch team with an early goal here. It'll be interesting to see what they go for. Sacks will be looking to get the ball to their main talisman, Rowan Davis. Looks like he's lining up the flick. Thomas Stewart on the second castle. Goes to Rowan Davis. Save. Great save by Graham Scott, the Ronda Bosch goalkeeper. Sacks still have the ball. I think that's a good confidence booster for the Rondebosch keeper early on in the game. Sacks again have possession. Looking to be patient with their build-up. Rondebosch looking to just absorb the pressure for the first couple of minutes. Inside ball for Sacks. Great ball from his AP lay at the Another great double save from Graham. Oh, and Sachs just sneak one into the far corner. Nice little celebration there from Cohen Williams, the young Sachs boy. Sprints back to the halfway line. <laughs> he wants more. I think unlucky for Graham there, he made a couple good saves. Fortunately, one just slipped through. Great Jake, to see Jake Twig on the ball. Just doesn't have the legs. Ball rolling out for a 16 towards that. It'll be interesting to see if Ronda Bosch go for a high press or they just hold the shape like they have been doing so far. Sachs just holding the ball, waiting for the opportunity to come. Being very mature about their hockey. Lots of patience from Sachs. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. 
Oh, great turnover by Jake Twig. Go to cut the defender off. Ooh. Great tackle. Good recovery from Sachs. Rondebosch in the Sachs half now. Hopefully they can maybe upgrade it, get a couple circle entries. Rondebosch have earned a long corner. Rondebosch just losing control in the corner there. Bit of skill move shown by the Rondebosch player, but unfortunately losing it over the baseline. Umpire has given them a long corner. It's very lucky. I couldn't see much there, but <laughs> I think Rondebosch will take the long corner. Nice sportsmanship from the Sax boys to pass the ball. Three to one ball by Rondebosch. Deflected wide. It's not a bad option for Rondebosch. I think if you can get that right, it's, it's deadly for the defence. Sacks rolling on quite a few subs. Be interesting to see their impact. Again, Sacks boasting a lot of depth with all their provincial players. Centre back looking a lot like Nathan Ansel. <laughs> I think that's young with Thomas Stewart. Jake Twig be pressing very well down the right here. Hopefully the rewards will come for him. Both refs just letting the, the game flow a bit more. Nice to see. Call going Rondebosch's way. After Sachs have finally decided to get the ball to their strikers, trying to make something happen. Turn over to Sachs. Ball forced a bit down the right there, but player wasn't given many options. Sachs with the ball now. Great effort by Liam Hart. He's also one of Sachs's provincial players. Very good young talent. Think a bit more movement in the link line for Rondebosch. Could be the difference here. They need a bit of support for the defenders. It's a good ball by Ryan Williams. Jake Twig dispossessed and Sachs now have possession again. But they're looking to go forward this time. Good touch from the Sachs player. Turn over towards Rondebosch. Right, he's getting the from ball. Rondebosch. I feel Rondebosch needs to just hold on to the ball a bit longer, calm it down a bit and pull that player and then they could be away. Game starting to open up a bit more as Rondebosch sacks driving down the right to T spot. Great save by Graham. Clearance by Luca Miller. Rondebosch captain. So far five saves for Graham and just one sneaking through. <laughs> so far, so good. Mikey Rodin turn on the ball. Boss to teammate. Ooh. Goes out for a 16. Good ball from Sachs. Unfortunately, no one could get on the end of it. As I was saying earlier, game seems to be opening up a bit more with Rondebosch pressing a bit higher, trying to create some pressure on the the yeah. sacks back for I think that's the only way they can do it eh? putting pressure on the defenders is crucial for, for a little counter attack maybe Rondebosch player just keeping his head down passing it straight to the sacks right link Not a bad ball from Rondebosch. The striker just needs to maybe time his run a bit better, get in front of that defender. Spoken like a true striker there. <laughs> oh, 
think the right wing for Rondebosch could be the captain's little brother, if I'm not mistaken. I think that is correct. The, the little, maybe some some brother chemistry. some brother chemistry could come <laughs> through and little goal in the last two minutes of this chaka. Mike, you're in turn on the ball, plays it out. Sachs looking to go forward. Big root one ball. Yeah, you're gonna have to run that one off there. The round watch kid just getting hit. It's on the foot. Maybe the medics can get him some ice. Yeah. Stern blow from Gregory Williams, our <laughs> one of our umpires. Very experienced schoolboy umpire. Ooh. Sixteen given. Rondebosch need to be a bit more decisive Great after 16 by and just bore attention. I think the, the good old saying of the other team can't score if you have the ball <laughs> needs to be implemented a bit more for both sides. Sack started off very patient, but looking to go direct a bit more this uh, Maybe they're getting a bit too goal hungry. Yeah. Bit of a heavy Ooh, first touch. Rondebosch. Counter for Rondebosch. What can they do here? 2v2. Good skills. On the back stick. Ooh, maybe should have maybe should have upgraded, but the chance is still there. Rondebosch looking to win a penalty corner there, but not finding it. Looking a lot better for Rondebosch. A lot more positive on attack. Maybe a goal here before half before the first quarter. I think a goal could do the Rondebosch side's confidence a whole lot good. Not going five. Turnover sacks ball. I think that counter would have given the Sachs defenders maybe a bit of a, a, a jump scare, but... A bit of a wake-up call. Yeah. Rondebosch still stood in back. Forwards were a bit flat there. But the counter's on now. What can Rondebosch produce here? 40 seconds on the clock. Cohen Williams driving right... Oh. Strong battle between these two young, strong sides. Thirty seconds left in the quarter. What can these? What can Sachs produce here with the ball? Ooh, ooh, a little spin move on the left link of Rondebosch. Jake Twig on the ball. Eight seconds left. He's got ahead of his defender. Oh, this is it going out. Jake Twig so far, my Rondebosch man of the match. <laughs> man of the quarter. Man of the quarter so far. Let's see if he has the legs for the whole game. I think a very, very good good chucker for both sides. Started well. Rondebosch unfortunately going one or down. Good goal by Sachs. I think both both talks will be pretty positive from the coaches. Both teams representing or playing for young coaches, Dylan Thorben, a Bosch old boy for Ronald Bosch boys back in E17, and Sam Holmes, also a Sax old boy, who's coaching the Sax side. So there's, see, there's a lot of pride in these sides. Yeah. A lot of pride. A lot to play for. A lot in the line. Ronald Bosch technical director, Miguel Edwards on camera right now, explaining a bit, maybe fine-tuning the press. Hard to tell his emotion underneath that mask, <laughs> eh? I think this uh, going down in the first quarter has given him a bit more grey hair. <laughs> it's just the camera. It's just the high-quality camera. <laughs> yeah. Back for the second quarter, score 1-0 to Sachs. Still a lot to play for. So far, a very entertaining game. It'll be interesting to see what happens in this quarter.
take two weeks starting the boys off. Good ball pace from Saks around the back. Three at the back now. It's a great ball from Opperman. Learned that from his older brother Dan. <laughs> Dan now playing for Marty's. One of the high quality hockey sides. Is there a pillar on the ball? Plays him back, back out. Thomas Stewart. One touch from the left back. They seem to be targeting this left channel a bit. Great skill move by the Sax player. Sax looking dangerous here. Plays out. Sax being patient again. I feel around the oh. forwards maybe need to step up the platform there, but on the press, put some pressure on the outside backs. Maybe win a win a few turnovers. Jake Twig on the ball again. Ooh, skill move picked by the sax player. It's good now hockey. Looking to go forward our sax. Cohen Williams on the ball. Good tackle. It's looking to upgrade for Shorty. Liam Hart. Mm. Great communication from the umpires as <laughs> one umpire could not see the call. The other umpire is stepping in to make sure the right call is made. Sacks with a very high press again. Turnover for Sacks again. Luca Miller picking it there. Oh, it's a good roll. Blind pass, not always the best option. Maybe could have just turned out there, looked for a pass. Sacks again have the ball in there. Down the halfway line. Sacks at their strength when they are patient. Looking to play it into the block. Great ball through the middle. Great receive by Josh Opperman. The overload down the right. Seems to be working quite nicely for the Sacks boys. That's another goal for Sacks. Oh, and they had a little celebration there together. I think Rondebosch need to keep their heads up and the first side's come back from worse than 2-0. <laughs> Great turnover by the Sax player, Liam Hart. Balls with Isaiah Pile. Sax again just Opa. being patient on the ball and waiting for the right opportunity. Sax managing to still keep it keep possession. Great turnover by the Ronnebosch defender. Bore attention, as someone shouted there in the Rondebosch side, I think it was the captain, Luca Miller, just bore attention is so important for this Rondebosch side. Is that Pile in space? As a backstick, deflected in by Rowan Davis. Sax under 16 sides are a well oiled machine, eh? Very efficient up front. Took the words out of my mouth there. I think Ronda Bosch need to start converting small chances. Maybe, maybe, maybe looking to upgrade for a short corner when they're, when they're in the 23. Good blow from the ref there. 
Sacks again have the ball. Playing the patient game. Save possession about 60-40 to, to Sacks. Good receive from Opperman. Sacks quite happy to just play it around the back waiting for the open opportunity. That's the, that's the beauty of being 3-0 up. There's no pressure on you anymore. One left by the Ronnebosch defender. Ref giving the Ronnebosch player a warning. It's always going to be a bit of a physical battle out there in a derby game. Expect nothing less. A lot of these boys playing their first game under lights due to the under 19 fiction being cancelled. Will be a great experience for these for these young lads. Hopefully, hopefully some of them can move through the system into the under 19 setup next year. Ronnebosch also going quite a lot down their left hand channel. They should maybe look to switch it to their strong side. Ronnebosch looking to go route one, but getting the ball turned over. Captain Luca Miller cleaning up for Ronnebosch at the back. A bit of pressure on Ryan Williams here. He's got quite a hit on him for uh, not the biggest lad. <laughs> Great ball down the line by Ryan again. Does Nathan have the legs? Fortunately not. It's looking a lot better for Ronnebosch though. This right hand side, they're attacking very nicely down it. Maybe step up the platform here on the press and put some pressure on these sax defenders. Is there a bit of calm as ever on the ball in the blockers? Uh, the centre forward for Ronderbosch just needs to... Uh, it's a good, good press from the centre forward. Good defense from Rondebosch. Great skills from the Sax player. Short corner given against Rondebosch. Rowan Davis will be begging the captain to have a flick here. Yeah, a little bit of a redemption shot. <laughs> Graham's 1 0 up so far against Rowan. A little bit of a personal battle. I've, I know they're close friends. Interesting fact, Rowan Davis did go to Rondebosch prep school. He's so old, and his older brother was a, was a Rondebosch old boy, also a very good hockey player. Great save by Graham Engelbracht again. Seems to have his number tonight. Sack still with possession. Rondebosch just struggling to connect those passes. Great advantage from the umpires to let the game flow. Sacks getting the ball again. Now at the back with Thomas Stewart. Tries to chuck a little over it. to the left and flank of the field. Haven't been many of those this evening. Ooh. Umpire awarding a short corner for a ill discipline. Ooh. Umpire's calling someone, he's going to the naughty chair. It's a player who was warned earlier. Can't say he wasn't warned, but it's unfortunate for Rondebosch. I think going a man down now is very, could be very... What does Rowan Davis say to the captain now after flicking two at the keeper? Does it, do the, sacks switch it up? The only thing a flicker would say, <laughs> third time lucky. <laughs> Gordon turn into push out. Goes to the second castle. Ooh, Ooh Rondebosch player putting his body on the line there, taking out the post there. Great save. Mikey Royden turn upset with with what has gone down in the natural corner. 
Michael, Lugan missed trap on top D. Michael Royden Turner selected for the under 16A provincial side. His brother's also in the under 18 provision, provincial side. So hockey running deep in the family. Rotations for sacks, some fresh legs coming on. It's nothing worse than a four defender than seeing a striker after a five minute break <laughs> running back onto the park to run you around. Good turnover for Underwatch deep in their own half. Sucks have possession again. Sacks losing the board. Ball trying to go forward on the right here. Fortunately, giving the possession back to Underwatch. And Nick Giga over here uh, to the far corner would be perfect now for Underwatch. But it'll be interesting to see how they get out of this press. Great ball. Great skills from Raik Daniels. Must have also learnt it from his older brother, Fayad. <laughs> oh. Overhead forward to Ronbosch. Unfortunately, losing possession. Ronbosch now stepping off the platform with. 25 seconds ago, maybe try to get a. <laughs> Is that Royden Turner to Rowan Davis again, getting himself on the score sheet for the second time tonight? Very well worked goal from Sachs. One mistake from Rondebosch and leads straight to a goal. Half time here at Western Province Creek Club, 4 0 to Sachs. Seems Rowan always finds his way onto the score sheet, whether it be flicking or field goals. Yeah? It's unusual to see a striker as a <laughs> flicker, but you get some there. Yeah. I mean, looking at the size of Rowan, he could probably play defense if he really wanted to. Yeah, or rugby. <laughs> <laughs> Strong lad. It'll be interesting to see if Rondebosch coach Dylan Thorburn trusts his process or if he changes it up to maybe try to throw the Sacks team off guard a bit and get a couple goals back. Sacks' goalkeeper Rogan Stirk not having to do much in that first quarter. Second, first two quarters, sorry. First half. You're looking at this the Sacks team there. All looks like they're playing with Y1 hockey sticks. <laughs> Seems to be a sax thing nowadays too. Play with a Y1. Definitely some involvement by um, Pierre Leroux and uh, the Knott family. Yeah, <laughs> first team captain Damien Knott definitely <laughs> having a bit of an influence on these young Sax role model, all of them <laughs> want to play with these Y1s. Seems to be working though, so True. good marketing for Y1 hockey. Boys will definitely be feeling the the crisp breeze on them during this halftime break. I'm sure some of them will even be keen to start running again. Gual Edwards giving some wise words to the, the young lads. Samuel Holmes is here and not keeping up with the rotten, <laughs> strong Ronda Bosch breeze this evening. Interesting, he hasn't tied it up tonight, eh? Yeah, you should ask Brinsley for his buff <laughs> and he can <laughs> use it as a hair tie. Great to see some smiles on the sax team face. Yeah, they're definitely having a lot of fun this evening. Maybe that's something Ronda Bosch lacks. Just have a bit of fun out there. You'll find the more fun you have, the better you play as a team. 
Miguel Edwards very vocal in the Ronda Bosch halftime chat here. Bosch need to lift the energy a bit, I'd say. Talk a lot more on the field and anything can happen there still. They Sack scored four goals in the first half. Why can't Bosch score four in the second? Just the one card for Ronda Bosch in the game so far. Ronda Bosch coach getting the last few words into the lads. Second half about a kick, kick off. So lovely, this beautiful stream by ES Media. It's about to say. It's very professional for, for schoolboy derby, which is lovely to see. Taking full advantage of the no spectator policies. Yeah, I mean, if, if I'd streaming like this, I don't know if I'd ever go watch anyway. <laughs> just sit at home from the couch and watch it on quality TV. Sachs just holding the ball. Staying patient once again. Pull back out to the centre back. Sachs looking to a forward hard ball down the line. Sachs playing from left to right on your screen and roundabout from right to left. Firm whistle from the refs. Both refs. I think they've made it pretty clear they're not going to have any any off the ball nonsense today. Keep it clean. Great ball pace from Ronda Bosch. Ronda Bosch player very apologetic there. Mikey Royden turn on the ball, plays it out to Thomas Stewart. Thomas Stewart playing it into the blockers. Back out to Thomas Stewart. Sachs again playing the patient game. Good press from Ooh. Jake Twig not happy with the ref's decision there. Fault could have gone his way. Very unlucky, he's working hard tonight. Sachs still in possession. Must be careful though, you don't want to get too vocal with an umpire, it never ends well. Sachs looking to go down the right again, back out to the centre back. Full credit to Sachs's back three, it seems to con be controlling the pace of tonight's game. Also very, very calm when Ronda Bosch have a little counter, they've been very calm. Just waited for the Ronda Bosch player to make the mistake. Sachs playing quite a mature brand of hockey for an under-16 side. Sachs ball. Turn over on a Bosch. Sacks are getting possession. Ooh, some aerial skills from the Sacks. Sacks lad, but not coming off, unfortunately. It's getting a bit scrappy out there. Ronda Bosch looking to make some subs now. Maybe that could be the, the game changer for them. 
Ryan Williams again with his big swing down the right flank of the field. Both teams making subs. Good turnover by the Ronda Bosch team. Great opportunity here. Twig definitely deserves a goal. He's been <laughs> working hard out there. Ronda Bosch looked up, looking to upgrade it maybe. Unfortunately not. 16 for Sats. To the turnover. Looking to go forward. This is looking a lot better from Rondebosch. Ball now with Sax's Cohen Williams looking to go forward. On a bit of a counter attack here. Turns the ball over, unfortunately. Good reverse pressing from Rondebosch. Let's see what Ryan Williams does. Fakes the big hit. Someone's getting a card. <laughs> right, Eek Daniels being sent off. I think that'll be his first breather of the game. <laughs> Bit of a positive and a negative. I think he'll come back refreshed and ready and hopefully hopefully get around a bush of goal. Silky skills from the sax player. Unfortunately Rondebosch won the ball. Murray Goodwin, what can you do here? Another card for Ronnebosch. A yellow. I assume that's a five minute yellow for Ronnebosch. Now down to nine men. It's never easy chasing a game when you have two cards either. Not quite sure what that Ooh, Sacks captain on the ball. Always looks dangerous. Oh, great read from Ryan Williams. He's booming with confidence after his selection for the, the Western Province B side as a grade 9 student. William <laughs> Hart in a lot of space. Rondebosch sitting deep. Trying to get some time back for their cards. Felt the Ronbosch player maybe should have just left that first ball, slow it down a bit. Three Ronbosch players, but the Sax player somehow manages to get the ball to his defenders. Good trap by Captain Luca Miller, clears it out. It's good experience from him to just calm it down, let Ronbosch reset maybe. One of the cards will be back on by the time Sacks get the ball. Miguel Edwards calling a sub for Rondebosch. Unusual from him to call a sub, especially when Sacks have the ball. Nearly a body check there from the Ronda Bosch <laughs> keeper. Playing all mind games there with the Sack Strikers. Probably would have been another yellow. Yeah, at this point. Sacks and Fortune losing the ball going forward. Ryan Williams slaps it down the line. Ooh. 
striker very apologetic to the quality pass from Ryan Williams. Ronobosh forced to press with two as they are uh, man down. Reek Daniels is back on the park for Ronobosh. So just the five minute yellow card. Ronobosh just can't seem to keep possession going forward. Sachs looking to go route one, but decide not to. Coach emphasizing the composure that the Sachs boys need to have here. Sometimes it's everyone becomes frantic when you're man up and it actually can be detrimental to the team with more players. So composure is key for the Sachs guys to control the game. Game has been very much back and forth for the last few minutes. I think it might be a bit of fatigue or a bit of um, a bit of fitness, time. maybe. Yeah, a bit of time away from the game with these lads. Our COVID has not been good for these these lads. I mean, some of them coming straight out of prep school. They would have been this is their first hockey they've been playing as they couldn't play in grade eight. Yeah. Especially if there's a few grade nines inside missing a full year of high school hockey. It's a big jump from under 13 to under 14, being thrown straight into the very deep end here. Body on the line from Ryan Williams. <laughs> Losing his footing. It wasn't the most majestic <laughs> thing, but it worked. That's not conventional. <laughs> That's rousing. <laughs> Ooh, great ball from the sax player. Bit of confusion there between the two sax players. Sachs pressing hard in the corner. One minute left to play in this third chucker. Sachs with the ball. Josh Wolfman. Looking for the short corner. Fortunately, couldn't find a foot. centre back been given a break been passing and working hard at the back for Sachs to protect that that big donuts on the score sheet <laughs> Brian Williams will look for the straight beat down the line inside his own 23 so his ball directly out and that's the end of the third quarter Goal this in that quarter, but I think it's a, it was a very good tussle in that quarter. Sachs stepping off the gas a bit. Or maybe sure maybe becoming a bit, bit comfortable. <laughs> comfortable with a 4 0 four -nil lead. Sam Holmes will be looking to push the Sachs side a bit further on here. Coach Dylan Thorburn speaking first in this team talk will be interesting. Would love to hear what he's saying to the lads. Sachs team talk looking very calm and collected and I think they know what they know what they need to do and they're just sticking to that. Quarter about to start at Western Province Creek Club. Yeah, Sachs under 16 A versus Rondebosch under 16 A. Rondebosch 
Josh using all the times to get the tactics across here. Some could say too much time in there. Could start the chuck a bit <laughs> rushed or. Ronda Bosch yellow card back on the field. Hopefully they can they can use back to eleven and get a goal here against Sachs. I think that'll be huge. Even if they don't win the game, just for a bit of confidence boosters for the for their performance. I think they've been very charismatic in their great tack in the way they've played today. Round wash ball in Sachs half. Feel the strikers for Ron Bosch maybe just need to be a bit higher and then lead back towards the ball, put a bit more pressure on the, the Sachs defenders. So a lot of space in behind at the moment and no strikers there for Ron Bosch. Great ball on Sachs player. Oh, it's a good, great ball. It's a good lead from Graham. Ron Bosch miss, missing uh, Jack Buchanan who is probably playing in the PGA right now. He's <laughs> a very good golfer. Could have been could have been very nice for Ron Bosch to have him. He's a very good striker. Jake Twig making a big arcing run. Ryan Williams with that infamous straight beat, root one ball from the right flank. Has become a part, a part of who he is, it seems. <laughs> Taken quickly. Ron Bosch, that was a, it's a good chance to maybe sneak a goal in past the Sachs keeper. It's tough for a keeper if three chuckers of no, no action really. It's always tough if just one on target. Great tackle from the Sachs player. Back to what you said about the keepers, I think it's important for the keepers to stay focused here. Yeah, it's a very cold evening. Hasn't touched a ball since the warm up, that's about 45 minutes. <laughs> it's, it's tough. Turnover from Sachs. Rowan Davis in the ball. Ooh. Still got it. Oh, a little on the run overhead. Uh, you can't really coach that. Eh? That's, that's unbelievable skill from the Sachs player to get that overhead off on the run. My fellow commentator struggles to do that. <laughs> yeah, I've had a few attempts in this year's school league. Very hard skill there is running overheads and Isaiah Pile seems to have more of it. Great tackle from Tom, redeeming himself for the yellow card. Pile in possession, just calming it down for the Sachs team. Ronda Bosch not giving up here, it's great to see they're gonna they're willing to fight to the end. Colin Williams on the left wing. Turns over ball unfortunately for Sachs. Captain Isaiah Pile wins it back. Oh, Root one ball. Okay. Not sure if that's going to be a goal. I think it might have been dangerous in the um, D. Umpire is having a quick discussion here. Not sure if it was dangerous for Sachs or for Rondebosch, but I don't think there are any rules about advantage for danger. So it should either be, a, in my opinion, a short corner or a 16. But we'll see what the umpires will be interesting to see what they say here. Sachs player seeming confident, walking back to the halfway line already. Was that Rowan Davis finished it at the end again? I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. Who else would it be? <laughs> Both umpires feel very strongly in their, in their views of what they saw. Looks like the goal will stand. Is that a hat-trick for Rowan Davis? I think it might be a brace, but you never know. Hat-trick. Matt's is in the strong point. It's <laughs> <laughs> so a hat-trick of field goals as well. He's might not have been flicking. Yeah, but I mean, bothering Graham with his flex. Doesn't say on the scorecard how you do it, eh? it just says goal scorer, so kudos to him. I think also the other Sachs players, I mean, he puts it in the back of the net, but the, the guy passes in the ball, puts in the cross, it's all of their goal. 
Great turnover by Ronda Marsh by Eve Daniels. Looks Sneak. left. Jake to maybe try to cut off the sax player there. Sneak inside. Sax again have it at the back. of the chicken strips and chips behind me is getting me a bit hungrier. Great evening for some stick and ball here at the St. Barnes Creek Club. Back to his back here. Ooh. Wayward touch by Thomas Stewart. It's his first touch back on the park. Thomas Stewart winning the foul. Cool, calm, and collected from him at the back. Big overhead forward from Thomas Stewart. Yeah. Ball going around the Bosch's way. Stern blow from the referee. Umpire, sorry. Ooh. Free hit taken quickly, but Ronald Bosch lose the ball going forward. I think big credit to the Saxes back three, I think it is. Yeah, they are playing back three, overload the link. Controlling the game very nicely, controlling the pace. I think the confidence is just booming off the Sax side there. They walking onto the pitch, you can almost feel their confidence. Confidence oozing, <laughs> some would say. Ooh. Oof. Nearly put that in the, the back of the neck. Pity he wasn't inside the D. Last five minutes here at Western Promise Creek Club. Ronda Bosch will be bleak not to go home with a goal. I think they'll be pushing this last few five minutes. I think they're deserving of at least one goal. They've been working hard this evening. Sacks again with possession. Great touch by Liam Hart. Ooh. Ooh, great read from the round watch striker, but Liam Hart still in possession. Just too quick. Ooh, a little tuck under his arm. Rondebosch player pleading for a back stick, but he's still going, he's still talking to the umpire, he must be careful. <laughs> I think the frustration comes with being on the losing end of the, the table. Pick up Ron Bosch maybe, this is looking promising, still deep in their half though. Jake Twig showing off his skills. Big swipe from Joshua Aukman giving Sachs a possession again. It's a high risk, high reward. <laughs> if you miss time that swipe, it's, it's definitely Sinbin, Sinbin Waters. Ryan Williams. That can't be far. Okay, lucky not to get a card. Might be because his brother's the umpire, <laughs> but. <laughs> Great touch by the Sacks. Yeah. Bit of a test mate. your mate, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ball not finding the Sacks player on the right. He had every right to test his mate though after that stop. <laughs> One of the rare mistakes from the Sacks back three tonight. Yeah, they've been world class. I'm sure some of the first team defenders, Matty Man, the boys are <laughs> shaking a bit in their boots if they're watching this. Ronda Bosch coach praising the players for showing their determination and Ooh. 
Game stopped. Reek Dan Daniel seems to be down. Hopefully he's okay. Great to see a sax player asking the run bosch player if he's alright. At the end of the day, they are all friends. Southern Suburbs is a very small place. Reek Daniel's a big part of this run bosch side, being selected for the under 16A Western Province side, even though being a under 15. Well, it'll be lovely to see how he grows and develops into hopefully close to his brother <laughs> in cricket and hockey. They're both very talented cricket and hockey players. Great turnover from Sachs. Ooh. I think a sneaky little trip from the round wash play has been missed by the umpire. What could you... <laughs> Ryan Williams with his straight beat again. Great control of that straight beat. It's a very hard skill to hit it flat all the time. It's fine in the foot. Is that young Thomas Stewart running back from up front? The centre back going on a bit of a mission up front. A bit of a sneaky run up front. <laughs> Ooh, Ryan Williams has been given a card here. What colour will it be? Umpire struggling to get it out. It's a green card. He'll come on for 11 seconds left in the game. Definitely an awkward chat out. Yeah, it's going to be a long car ride home. <laughs> Greg Williams giving his younger brother Ryan a, a green card. For Maybe that. just showing you the, the real older <laughs> brother is there. Bit of a personal vendetta. Great to see by the sax player. Gun ball as well. Ooh. Yeah. play gone. It's a good blow from the ump. Last one minute 30 here. Western Province Cricket Club. 5-0 to sax under 16A versus Rondebosch. Half minutes left to play uh, at the cage on the Bosch. The home of Bosch hockey. <laughs> Sacks overloading the right hand side yet again. Great defense from the Ronda Bosch player. Ooh. Does he have the legs? Nearly, nearly from Ronda Bosch. I think that's a positive way they can they can take a Quite a few positives coming off a, a big loss to them at at the brewery, I believe it's called. The Sax Astra, I think the improvement from Rondebosch has been massive. I think that's the first touch Rogan Sturgis had to make all night. It back to his, uh, it's an important touch though. Nathan. Ooh. Another through ball. Rondebosch. Rondebosch player maybe take him on inside. 30 seconds left. This is promising for Rondebosch. Oh yeah. Shorty, Shorty, that's great from Rondebosch. Maybe they can sneak in a goal here. Five-one would would be a fair representation of the the fixture, I think. Clock will probably run out here in this dying moment of the game. There's nothing better for a defender to see the clock on five seconds with a short corner to get a goal on the score sheet as a def defender. Is, it's unbelievable. The bragging rights at practice. Defenders always have the biggest mouths as well, so they'll they'll for sure let them know about it. Ronnebosch might claim a bit of last goal wins here. Yeah. <laughs> Huge confidence boost if they get this right. Seems to be a ghost stopper for Ronnebosch with no flicker. And that's, that's the end of the game. 5 0 to to Sachs under 16A versus Rondebosch. Yeah, unfortunately, game not going Rondebosch's way. Sachs dominating majority of the game with their possession and their patience at the back. Nice to see Rowan Davis and Graham Ingelbrach having a bit of a